Brazilian cuisine, Wikipedia article audio. Brazilian cuisine is the set of cooking practices and traditions of Brazil, and is characterized by African, European, and Amerindian influences. It varies greatly by region, reflecting the country's mix of native and immigrant populations, and its continental size as well. This has created a national cuisine marked by the preservation of regional differences. Ingredients first used by native peoples in Brazil include cassava, garana, aaaa, cumaru, cashew, and tucupi. From there, the many waves of immigrants brought some of their typical dishes, replacing missing ingredients with local equivalents. For instance, the European immigrants were accustomed to a wheat-based diet, and introduced wine, leafy vegetables, and dairy products into Brazilian cuisine. When potatoes were not available they discovered how to use the native sweet manioc as a replacement. Enslaved Africans also had a role in developing Brazilian cuisine, especially in the coastal states. The foreign influence extended to later migratory waves A Euro-Japanese immigrants brought most of the food items that Brazilians would associate with Asian cuisine today, and introduced large-scale aviaries, well into the 20th century. Regional Cuisines Southeast Brazil's Cuisine Root vegetables such as cassava, yams, and fruit like aaaa, Cupuayu, mango, papaya, guava, orange, passion fruit, pineapple, and hog plum are among the local ingredients used in cooking. Some typical dishes are feijota, considered the country's national dish, and regional foods such as beiju, fija pounto tropiro, vatapa, macaca, polenta, and acaraja copyright. There is also karuru which consists of okra, onion, dried shrimp, and toasted nuts, cooked with palm oil until a spread-like consistency is reached, makaka capizaba, consisting of slow-cooked fish, tomato, onions, and garlic, topped with cilantro, and linguia a, a mildly spicy sausage. The national beverage is coffee, while cachaça is Brazil's native liquor. Cachaça is distilled from sugarcane and is the main ingredient in the national cocktail, caperinha. Cheese buns, and saljadinhas such as pasta copyright is, coxinhas, risa superscript thrillis and kibet are common finger food items, while cuscas branco is a popular dessert. There is not an exact single national Brazilian cuisine but there is an assortment of various regional traditions and typical dishes. This diversity is linked to the origins of the people inhabiting each dam. North Brazil's Cuisine For instance, the culinary in Bahia is heavily influenced by a mix of African, indigenous, and Portuguese cuisines. Chili and palm oil are very common. But in the northern states, Due to the abundance of forest and freshwater rivers, fish and cassava are staple foods. In the deep south like Rio Grande do Sul, the influence shifts more towards Gadagricho traditions shared with its neighbors Argentina and Uruguay, with many meat-based products, due to this region livestock-based economy a euro the churrasco, a kind of barbecue, is a local tradition. In Rio, S.A. Pondo Paulo, Espirito Santo, and Minas Gerais, the Brazilian feijota is popular especially as a Wednesday or Saturday lunch. Also consumed frequently is picadinho or rice and beans. Center West Brazil's Cuisine In Rio de Janeiro, besides the feijota, a popular plate is any variation of grilled bovine filet, rice, and beans, farofa and French fries, commonly called fila copyright a Osvaldo Aranha. Seafood is very popular in coastal areas, 
as his roasted chicken. The strong Portuguese heritage also endowed the city with a taste for bolinos de bacalhau, being one of the most common street foods there. In S.A. Pão Paulo, a typical dish is veradue paulista, made with rice, tutu de fija pão sautéed kale and pork. S.A. Pão Paulo is also the home of pastel, a food consisting of thin pastry envelopes wrapped around assorted fillings, then deep fried in vegetable oil. It is a common belief that they originated when Japanese immigrants adapted the recipe of fried spring rolls to sell as snacks at weekly street markets. In Minas Gerais, the regional dishes include corn, pork, beans, chicken, tutu de fija pão and local soft ripened traditional cheeses. Northeast Brazil's cuisine. In Espirito Santo, there is significant Italian and German influence in local dishes, both savory and sweet. The state dish, though, is of Amerindian origin, called macaca capizaba which is a tomato and fish stew prepared in a panela de barro. Amerindian and Italian cuisine are the two main pillars of capizaba cuisine. Seafood dishes in general are very popular in Espirito Santo but unlike other Amerindian dishes the use of olive oil is almost mandatory. Boba superscript 3 de Camara Pondo, Torta Capizaba, Polenta are also very popular. Southern Brazil's Cuisine The cuisine of this region, which includes the states of Acre, Amazonas, Amapa, Para, Rondania, Roraima, and Tocantins, is heavily influenced by indigenous cuisine. In the state of Para, there are several typical dishes including Popular dishes Pado no Tukupi a Euro one of the most famous dishes from Para. It is associated to the C.A. Rio de Nazara copyright, a great local Roman Catholic celebration. The dish is made with tukupi. The duck, after cooking, is cut into pieces and boiled in tukupi, where is the sauce for some time. The jambu is boiled in water with salt, drained and put on the duck. It is served with white rice and manioc flour and corn tortillas. In the state of Goya S, the piqui is used in a lot of typical foods especially the arroz com piqui, and in snacks, mostly as a filling for pastel. Also, a mixture of chicken and rice known as galanhada is very popular. Drinks The Brazilian northeastern cuisine is heavily influenced by African cuisine from the coastal areas of Pernambuco to Bahia as well as the eating habits of indigenous populations that lived in the region. The vatapa is a Brazilian dish made from bread, shrimp, coconut milk, finely ground peanuts and palm oil mashed into a creamy paste. The boba superscript 3 de camara pão is a dish made with cassava and shrimp. The acaraja copyright is a dish made from peeled black-eyed peas formed into a ball and then deep-fried in denda. Often sold as street food, it is served split in half and then stuffed with vatapa and karuru. Acaraja copyright is typically available outside of the state of Bahia as well, including the markets of Rio de Janeiro. In other areas, more to the west or away from the coast, the plates are most reminiscent of the indigenous cuisine, with many vegetables being cultivated in the area since before the arrival of the Portuguese. Examples include Baia Pondo de Dois, made with rice and beans, dried meat, butter, cuajo colho and other ingredients. Jaguri is also heavily identified with the northeast, as it is carne de sol. Pa Oca de Pila Pondo, and Bolo de Rolo. Typical and Popular Desserts 
Tapioca flatbreads or pancakes are also commonly served for breakfast in some states, with a filling of either coconut, cheese, or condensed milk, butter, and certain meats. They can also be filled with dessert toppings as well. Typical Cakes In southern Brazil, due to the long tradition in livestock production and the heavy German immigration, red meat is the basis of the local cuisine. Special ethnic foods and restaurants that are frequently found in Brazil include Arab cuisine, local variations of Chinese cuisine, Italian cuisine, and Japanese cuisine. Pizza is also extremely popular. It is usually made in a wood fire oven with a thin, flexible crust, little or very little sauce, and a number of interesting toppings. In addition to the traditional Italian pizza toppings, items like guava cheese and minas cheese, banana and cinnamon, poultry and catapiri, and chocolate are available. Traditionally olive oil is poured over the pizza, but in some regions people enjoy ketchup, mustard and even mayonnaise on pizza. Brazil nut cake is a cake in Brazilian cuisine that is common and popular in the Amazon region of Brazil, Bolivia, and Peru, Braa, corn bread with fennel. Besides many of the pasta, sausage, and dessert dishes common to continental Europe, churrasco is the term for a barbecue which originated in southern Brazil. It contains a variety of meats which may be cooked on a purpose-built churrasqueira, a barbecue grill, often with supports for spits or skewers. Portable churrasqueras are similar to those used to prepare the Argentine, Chilean, Paraguayan and Uruguayan asado, with a grill support, but many Brazilian churrasqueras do not have grills, only the skewers above the embers. The meat may alternatively be cooked on large metal or wood skewers resting on a support or stuck into the ground and roasted with the embers of charcoal. Since Gadagrichas were nomadic and lived off the land, they had no way of preserving food, the gauchos would gather together after butchering a cow and skewer and cook the large portions of meat immediately over a wood-burning fire. The slow-cooked meat basted in its own juices and resulted in tender, flavorful steaks. This style would carry on to inspire many contemporary churrascaria which emulate the cooking style where waiters bring large cuts of roasted meat to diners' tables and carve portions to order. The Kimara Pando is the regional beverage, often associated with the Gadagricho image. Other Popular and Traditional Desserts Daily Meals Restaurant Styles Vegetarian Also Noteworthy are Brazilian Cachae Caperinha, a national drink Kimara Pounto Brazil has a variety of candies such as Brigadeiros, Cocada, Bajanhas, and Romeu Eulita. Peanuts are used to make Pa Oca, Rapadura, and Pa Copyright de Malek. Local common fruits like Aaaa, Cupuayu, Mango, Papaya, Coco, Cashew, Guava, Orange, Passion Fruit, Pineapple, and Hog Plum are turned in juices and used to make chocolates, popsicles, and ice cream. A superscript 1 Main Meals that are served nearly everywhere, and are eaten in nearly all households above poverty line, a superscript two secondary meals. People usually have a meal at the tea time, while elevenses and late suppers depend in peculiarities on one's daily routine or certain diets. A simple and usually inexpensive option, which is also advisable for vegetarians, is Comida Aquilo or Comida Porquilo restaurants, a buffet where food is paid for by weight. Another common style is the all-you-can-eat restaurant where customers pay a prefix. In both types, customers usually assemble the dishes of their choice from a large buffet.
Rotazio is a common style of service, in which a prefix is paid, and servers circulate with food. This is common in chuscarias, pizzerias, and sushi restaurants, resulting in an all-you-can-eat meat barbecue and pizzas of varied flavors, usually one slice being served at the time. The regular restaurant where there is a specific price for each meal is called Restaurante à la carte. Although many traditional dishes are prepared with meat or fish, it is not difficult to live on vegetarian food as well, at least in the mid-sized and larger cities of Brazil. There is a rich supply of all kinds of fruits and vegetables, and on city streets one can find cheese buns, in some cities even the version made of soy. In the 20 hundreds, S.A. Pondo Paulo, Rio de Janeiro and Porto Alegre have gained several vegetarian and vegan restaurants. However outside big metropolises, vegetarianism is not very common in the country. Not every restaurant will provide vegetarian dishes and some seemingly vegetarian meals may turn out to include unwanted ingredients, for instance, using lard for cooking beans. Commonly meat is understood to mean red meat, so some people might assume a vegetarian eats fish and chicken. Comida por Quilo and all-you-can-eat restaurants prepare a wide range of fresh dishes. Diners can more easily find food in such restaurants that satisfies dietary restrictions. Media related to cuisine of Brazil at Wikimedia Commons